Hey traders, it's John Fortune here with this week's weekly Forex forecast for the 12th of June to the 16th of June 2017. We're going to start with the US dollar index and oil as we do every week, but then we're going to do things slightly differently this week. We want to give you guys the best content possible, so we've made a few changes to the format from this week going forwards. Firstly, we're going to be reviewing the charts on the four hour time frames instead of the daily. This will give you a much more detailed view of what we're looking at and the trade setups for the coming week. Secondly, we're going to identify the key areas of support and resistance that we're going to be looking at taking trades from this coming week. Thirdly, we're going to be identifying the targets that we're going to be looking at trading to in the pairs that we look at. And finally, we're only going to review the currencies that give us the best potential opportunities rather than doing a complete overview of all of the currency pairs. So I hope you all enjoyed this week's video. Please note that we do use multiple techniques when analyzing these charts. However, what's important is giving you guys the simplest, most clearest content we can to assist you and aid you in your trading. And hopefully you'll find it much more simple this way. So with that said, let's jump over to the charts and see where the money is this week. US dollar index. The US dollar index uh, is in a downtrend. And as you can see, it broke down below the 12145 area of support that we had marked here. Came back to retest this, uh, but it failed to push down to our target of 12080 down here. Now we are still looking at the 12080 as the next target to the downside. The only problem we have is it has broken back up above the 12145 and you can see it's trading and it's just pushing out of this downward sloping trend line. So although we do think that US dollar index could be heading down lower because of the way it's broken back above this uh, support level here at 12145, we're going to go into next week with a neutral uh, to slightly bearish bias on the US dollar index, but we're going to go into next week mainly with a neutral bias uh, in terms of that this could go either way next week. Next, we're going to have a look at oil. Now, oil has broken down below the 46.93 area of support here. You can see it was acting as support area over here. It has now broken down and we are seeing some accumulation in this area. Now we could have a pullback and a retest of this downward sloping trend line and possibly the 46.93 area of support turning resistance over here. But we are looking for further declines in oil and we have an overall target to the downside of 43.380. But just bear in mind, we do have a key area of support at 44.06 down here. So we are looking for a continuation of this move in oil next week. Uh, whether it's going to pull back first and retest up here is yet to be seen. However, we're looking for further declines overall in oil and we will go into next week with a bearish bias on oil. The next pair we're going to look at is Euro US dollar. Now Euro US dollar has been in this uptrend as you can see. Price corrected here, started to push up. Uh, and it did make a new high, as you can see over here. And it has now started to pull back. We are looking for this now next week to trade into the 1.12950 area. So we're going to be looking for bullish formations around the 1.11609 area of support down here. And if we get the bullish patterns or the bullish formations that we're looking for in this area, we're going to be looking at trading up to the 1.12950 target up here now if we break down below the 1.11609 area of support here we're going to be looking for price to next head to the 1.11168 area of support down here and if we get down into this area we're going to continue to look for some bullish formations or some bullish patterns in this area and we're going to be looking to trade up to the 1.12950 and we'll have this marked pretty much as a range and we'll be looking at trading it from the bottom of the range if it starts to break down below the 1.11168 area of support here then we're going to turn 
bearish on this pair. So as long as it stays above the 1.11168 area support here, the 1.2950 target up here is where we're going to be looking to trade into. The next pair we're going to look at is US dollar Japanese yen. Now US dollar Japanese yen has been making its way down. As you can see, it's making lower lows and lower highs. It has pulled back and retested the 110.656 area of support, as you can see here and here and here broken here turned into resistance over here and it's pulled back now to retest this area so we are going to be looking for some bearish patterns or formations from this area of resistance here right where it's at now and we're going to be looking for further declines if we get those formations and patterns in this area down to the 108.900 area down here this is our next target on this pair If we get a break above the 110.656 area of resistance here, where it's sitting right now, then we could be looking to move all the way up to the 111.669 area of resistance up here, as you can see, acted as resistance over here, pulled up over here, back down, and when we got a bounce from this area of support back up to here. So just to reiterate, if we get a break above the 110.656, we could be looking for longs up to the 111.669 area of resistance up here. Just bear in mind though that this isn't a downtrend, uh, so it could be a little bit risky taking longs. However, the 111.669 area is the next area of resistance if we were to break through the 110.656 where we're at now. The next pair we're going to look at is Aussie US dollar. Now Aussie US dollar has broken above the 0 0.75170 area of resistance as you can see here, over here. And remember these are areas of support and resistance, these aren't exact price levels. Once it broke through this 0.75170 area of resistance here, it has started to make its way back down now and it is correcting this up move here. And it's making its way back down to the 0.75170 area of support here. Now we are looking for longs on this pair next week. And we're going to be looking for these longs from the area where it's sitting now. And we're going to be looking for a target up to the 0.75871 area up here. So this is our target on the Aussie US dollar next week. We're looking for a continuation of these moves over here. Uh, seeing this just as a corrective pattern. However, if we are to get a break down below the 0 0.75170, we're going to be looking down to the 0 0.74736 as the next key area of support on this pair. If we get a move down to here, we're going to be looking to initiate longs from this area of support, and we're going to be looking for the target of 0 0.7587 uh, as well. However, just to reiterate, what we are going to be looking for from the area where we sit now, our bullish formations or patterns so we can look to take the trade up to the 0 0.7587 target next week. The next pair that we're going to have a look at is the Euro Japanese Yen. Now as you can see the Euro Japanese Yen in the 4 hour chart here is ranging between these important areas of support and resistance. Price sold off from the 125.216 area of resistance up here, and it did come down to retest the 123.306 area of support down here for the one, two, three, fourth time. So what we're looking for now next week is we're going to look for bullish patterns and formations in this area, and we're going to be looking at trading back up to the top of the range at 125.216 so if we get the right bullish formation in this area here we're going to be looking at taking longs back up to the top of the range at 125.216 next week the next pair we're going to look at is franc yen now similar to the euro yen we do have the franc yen in the four hours in a range as you can see it has tested the support level of 113.071 up to the resistance area of 114.882, back down, back up, it retested the resistance twice, 
pulled back down to the 113071 back up to the resistance and now it's been making its way back down to the support and it, it is in the support area down here however i do question whether we're going to have a retest of the 113071 area of support if we get a pullback into this area the 113.071 area of support then we're going to be looking for the range top again at 114.882 next week however if we don't get a pullback into this support area we're still going to be looking for bullish formations and patterns in the area where it is now and we're still going to be looking for the 114.882 resistance area as a target next week the next pair we're going to look at is euro aussie dollar now euro aussie dollar broke down below the 1.4934 area of support over here as you can see defined over here over here over here and tested as resistance over here as well it did break down below the 1.49342 area here and it came back and tested it as a resistance area here its price has started to push down and it's pushed down to around this level here forming somewhat of a kind of double bottom so what we're looking for next week is for this to pull back into the 1.4934 area here retest this broken area of support and for this to become an area of resistance and then from here we're going to be looking at taking shorts if we get the correct bearish patterns or formations in this area and we're going to be looking at taking those shorts down to the 1.47222 target down here so this is what we're going to be looking for next week on the euro oz just bear in mind if we get a break back above the 1.49342 area of resistance here we could be on for a move up to the 1.51033 but all the to all the while that it stays down below the 1.4934 area of resistance here then we're on for shorts down to the target of 1.47222 the next pair we're going to look at is aussie cad now we do have a bearish bias on oil next week so we are expecting to see some weakness in the cad as well as you can see aussie cad broke above the 1.01225 area of resistance over here and it has now proceeded to pull back into this broken area of resistance and it's acting as support we're looking for a continuation of price to the upside in the Australian CAD and we're looking for a target of 1.02681 now we're going to be looking for bullish patterns and formations in the area that it's in now at this broken resistance level turning support and if we get those patterns we're going to be looking to take longs up into the target area as mentioned at the 1.02681 if we start to see price break down below this area of support where it's sitting now we're going to be looking to the downside to the 1.00479 area of support as the next important area of support on this pair as you can see it's been tested numerous times and it's well defined as an area of support and if we get a move down into this area of support of the 1.00479 area we're going to look to try and find those bullish patterns and formations from this area to continue the trade up to the 1.02681 target that we have but just to reiterate preferably we will be looking for the bullish patterns and formations to come in the area that it's in now and for this broken resistance area to hold a support and push price further to the upside looking for the target at 1.02681 the next pair we're going to look at is Australian Japanese Yen. Now, as you can see, the Australian Japanese Yen has started to break out of this downward sloping trend line here. It's broken above the resistance area over here at the 82.757. Now, once it broke above this resistance area, you can see it came back to test it once, came back to test it twice, and twice it held and acted as support here so what we're looking for is price to continue to the upside in the australian japanese yen and in the four hours we're looking for a pullback and possibly even another retest of the 82.757 area of support over here now if we get a retest of this downward sloping trend line and this area of support of the 82.757 we are going to be looking for 
the right bullish patterns and formations to form in this area. And we're going to be looking at taking those patterns, trading them and initiating longs up to the 83.794, which, as you can see, is the next key area of resistance on this pair. So should we get the right bullish formations and patterns in this area of confluence down here with the downward sloping trend line and also this broken resistance to becoming support? Then we're going to be looking at taking longs up to the 83.794 area of resistance over here. The next pair we're going to look at is Aussie New Zealand. Now, Aussie New Zealand is in an overall downtrend, as you can see, it has been moving down, has been moving down. We've got to push up here from the 1.0400 level. And we are now looking for a potential trade up to the target of 1.05494. So if we get a pullback and a retest of the 1.04239 area of support down here, then we're going to be looking to initiate longs on this pair up to the 1.05494 target over here. Just bear in mind that this is in an overall downtrend, so this might be a slightly more high risk trade than some of the other pairs. However, if we get the right kind of bullish patterns and formations in this area of support, then we are going to look to take trades on this pair and we're going to look at initiating the longs up to the target of the 1.05494. If we start to get a breakdown below the 1.0400 level down here and we start moving into this area, our bias will change on this pair and we're going to start looking for targets to the downside. So that is it from me for this week. I hope you enjoyed this week's video. If you did, let me know by liking, sharing and subscribing. Hopefully you found the new format a lot more simple and clear. And hopefully this will help you with your trades in the coming week. Please bear in mind that we have four interest rate decisions next week. One from the American Federal Reserve, who could be looking at cutting interest rates next week. Two from the Swiss National Bank on Thursday. Three is an interest rate from the Bank of England, which is also on Thursday. And finally, on Friday, we have the Bank of Japan with an interest rate decision in the early hours of Friday morning. So just bear in mind that next week could be a very volatile week, guys. With that said, I hope you all have a fantastic week next week. Trade safely and good luck.